Hi there, it's Mia from Mia Hess Music, and this is day 17 of the breast reduction journey for me. I'm 69 years old, and I had a breast reduction and hopefully a lift. Now, I'm not feeling really lifted, I'll be really honest with you. I wanted to share what's going on with me. I was going to do this on day 14. It's day 17. I had my surgery, blah, 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 my surgery on January 11th. It is now January 28th. I wanted to show you where I was at on day two. So these are pictures of what it looked like on day two when I took my very first shower after my surgery. So you can see that I'm super bruised. It looks really ugly. I mean, we're not even gonna talk about how my skin looks in general kind of ugly, but eh, you know, what are you gonna do? We're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you, bleh, I can't even talk. I'm gonna show you pictures of day 14 after my surgery. And you can see that a lot of the bruising has gone down. I still have a great deal of bruising on the anchor insertions. It, oh, God, I can't even talk. The side incisions still really hurt a lot. I'm not gonna lie about that. There's a couple of things that I've learned through this process. So the first thing that I learned right away, and some of this was from having other kinds of surgeries, is pillows are your friends. Now, a lot of ladies do the, uh, you know, the pregnancy pillows, you know, those great big things. I'll post a picture up here of what they look like in case you didn't know. And my one niece said, yeah, I can get it for you in a couple days. I still have mine. And I went, oh, that's great. But I needed it now. So I remembered that I had saved cushions from my mom's sofa when, you know, it finally bit the dust. But I saved the cushions because they were really good. I have this one, which is, you can see, and it's really super firm. This was like the arm cushion for these things. This came in so handy because I could lay on my back and I could kind of cradle myself in between. I have two of these, so this was really fantastic, and I'm really glad I did that. Second one was same sofa, as you can tell, and this is like a flat kind of soft pillow that was really nice to just kind of curve and prop around. So, you know, a lot of people buy really fancy things that they think they're gonna need for their recovery, for being comfortable. And I say, look at what you have at home. So the second thing that I've learned in this adventure of breast reduction surgery is the whole bra thing. Kind of difficult in a lot of ways. So this is the bra that I got, that I woke up with it on me, okay? This is, let's see, it's uh, Kaylee Smith, I think is the bra maker. I will link it down below. It's quite comfortable. It doesn't have any padding in the cups. It has adjustable straps has the zipper thing, right? And it has this little hook doodad that closes it before you zip it. So it's actually a really nice bra, but it's really expensive. Um, I think it's $70 or something like that. Nice bra. It washes up well by hand. I don't, I never put my bras in the dryer. That was number one. Now, this is a bra I got at Kohl's. It's a regular, you know, exercise bra for ladies. I will link it down below. It has padded cups inside, which is kind of nice. It has a little hook doodad in here so that you can hook it before you zip it. It zips. And I did want to show you guys one thing. If, as you can see, I've got steri pads here and I actually have them inside here covering my nipples and the incisions underneath my breast. Trick is with that, you really want, for the most part, you want the ones that say five by nine non-stick, especially if you do the side thing. Now, five by nine non-stick is actually kind of hard to find. So you may have to go on to Amazon or something like that and buy them there. But if I went into the regular drugstore that I normally go to, which is Discount Drug Mart, I could not find five by nines. Anyway, so here's this bra, which is nice. It has the razor back. It's fairly comfortable. The disadvantage to this particular bra does not have adjustable straps, so, but it definitely holds you in and it's not too bad to wear during the day. I don't normally wear this bra at night because it's a little bit uncomfortable with. Third bra that I got is from Amazon. This came, comes highly recommended. It's called Brabic. It's a pretty nice, it's a nice bra. It has adjustable straps. It's got the little hook doodle in here. The only thing I do not like about this bra, see how it has those pleats on either side of the zipper? Well, that's 
it's kind of a pain, you know, underneath your clothes because you see them. But again, it's pretty comfortable, has adjustable straps. Now, in this particular bra, I measured my band size and I'm a 36. And so I got a large. This is an extra large because I wanted to see if it was going to work. And it does work pretty well. But I would recommend in that particular bra size, I would recommend that you measure that band size and actually go by the little chart that's on Amazon. I really hope that this helps someone and thank you very much for coming along on my journey. If you wanna watch more videos, there's some linked here or there after you've done watching this one. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you.